Ronnie's going through. Well then, Ronnie, just take a look at those strips. Do they look like the kind of strips that have prosperous parents? We usually do the better schools. All right. So you don't like the kids? I can see that. Do you really have to cause me so much pain? What have I said? I only told them to wait. Well, the kids would be today. I don't know what it is to, to look at a bar of chocolate. Lemonade, Ronnie. Lemonade never touches their lips. The kids will be today, Ronnie. And the kind of stand outside shop windows, looking and longing, never getting. Even a Christmas time, Ronnie, when your kids are at the better schools, like singing carols, opening presents. These kids are left outside, left to wander the cold, cool streets. Here we are. One of the shops to see if you can get that. Hey, what did she say? What did she say? She said she 
Schatzi bin? Well, we got a rap head test. Yeah! You know full well that on school outings you wear school uniform. 
Well, Mrs. K never said nothing about it. So you're not talking to Mrs. K now? Yeah, I do. Now listen here, I don't like your attitude, I don't like it one bit. What did I say? I haven't said nothing, have I? I'm talking about your attitude. Now, either you pack up your ideas, or I'll see to it that when we get to Conway, you'll be spending your time in the coach. I do not care. <coughs> I do not want to see you crap and pass me anyway. Just catch yourself lucky you're not allowed. No, look. Cause any more unpleasantness on this trip, and I'll personally see to it that it's the last you ever go. Is that understood? Is it? Yeah. Very happy. Rachel, what's your name? Wake up. Yeah. Yes, she what's your name? Yeah. Right, now get to that.
let's get this straight. We're only stopping for 15 minutes. When you get off the bus, you will get in line and wait. All right. There will be plenty of time for the level of speed and stretch your legs. But don't go getting lost.
smiling someone like your old Stella. You're just a jealous girl. I'm lost.
You see those claws? They can leave a really nasty mark. Could it kill you, sir? Why do you think they keep it in a pit, Anne? I think that's cruel, sir, don't you? Not if it's treated well, no. You've got to remember, Andrews, that an animal like this would have been born into captains. It's always had walls around it, so it won't know anything different. Oh, Philip, yours. How do you know? Sir's just told you, as me, if it was born in a cave, and if it's lived in a cave all its life, then it won't know anything different. So, it won't want anything different. Well, Why does it kill people then? Ah, what? What's that got to do with it? It kills people because people are cruel to it. <clears throat> they keep it in here, in a mist pit, so it gets out its bound to go mad when I kill people. Can't you see? Ah, sir, so you sick. You don't just shut up. Not me. Sir, even if it's spent its whole life in a pit, it must know what's in it, sir. No, what, sir? Know about other ways of living, about being free, sir. They keep it in a pit, so when it gets out, it kills people. But if it were free and people treated it all right, well, it starts to become friends with it, wouldn't it? If you weren't doing, doing nothing wrong to it, it wouldn't want to kill you, would it? Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that, Andrews. Still, it's right. Bears kill you because it's in them to kill you. How are they doing? Mind your questions? Yes, they're being very good. I was going to get some tea for my bars. What did you want me? Actually, we were just off the pet's corner. Of course, so you got to have a walk around the road. Come on, Colin and Susan are walking around the place.
start to treat you like real people, look what happens. Well, that woman was right. You have the animals. Animals! Come on. Take me out of the back. That's why you're treated like animals. Why you'll always be treated like animals. <laughs>
like he wasn't a cold piece of fun. But it was something he actually owned. <clears throat> well, we wouldn't let anyone smash it up, would we? We'd look after it.
and enjoy yourself. Thank you. 
Dad, it's not doing that. All I can say is that one you haven't lost half a dozen of them. Listen, Grace, it's about time. No, to you listen, listen, Sonny. You listen. Don't you try and tell me a thing because you haven't earned the right. Don't you worry. When we get back to school, your numbers are. And hers. Yes, Andrew. I saw what's going on with you and Ryan back there. When we get back to school, I'll have a lot of them. Would you mind postponing your threats until we find the girl? At the minute, I'd say that was the most important thing. <coughs> You keep them there. We'll sit on the fire. Stop being silly. <coughs> what are you so worried? 
stark common room. Why do you have need about those? Could you do it in the school labs? Oh, I don't know. Using school equipment for personal gain? Thank you. I've had a Yeah. It was great on the day. Well, it'll be the last trip I could on. Why? Well, I'm leaving this summer, aren't I? What are you going to do? I don't know. Oh, it's bloody not what you're going to do, isn't it? What? Yeah. Thanks for the Come on, this way. 